I'm in my storage barn and I'm ready to start another project. So I've, what I have here is a plank about 22 inches wide of spalted sycamore. And it's a piece of wood that came out fairly close to the center of the tree. So it's got some of the natural cracking and stuff on the inside that comes from its location within the tree. This part of the, of the tree is uh, a little more decayed than the rest of it. This is uh, spalting down here at this front edge and it's uh, wood that is still fairly sound. So I plan to make use of it. The, uh, the project I want to start is going to be a buffet table and it's going to be made with uh, legs that are in a torsion design, a uh, design that I came up with many years ago. Uh, and the torsion bars that are in it actually stabilize everything. Because of the width of this, this piece of wood is too wide to pass through my planer. So I plan to divide it into two parts with a meandering line of some kind, probably um, a meandering line is always more interesting than a straight line. So it'll be something that will accentuate maybe some of the patterns that are happening in the wood. And, uh, and so this is the way a lot of uh, my furniture starts. It, uh, it may be direct from the wood just as this is being designed. This back edge, as I mentioned, will probably be cut away just because it's too decayed. I could do all kinds of things with it, filling it with epoxy or something. Um, but that's not my style. And it will probably be tapered something like that. And possibly something like this. And I'll take into consideration where the table will go so we have an idea of the size of it where it will fit in someone's home um, this is larger than what we could use in our own home but there are many people that are building much larger homes in the area at this time what i intend to do is design this table as you see here and then begin the process of making it and i hope to share that with you over the coming weeks one of the things I need to mention is that after this is cut into two pieces, it has to be rejoined in some way. And to rejoin it, I have a, a simple technique, and it's to put in sliding dovetails that connect the two pieces. There will probably be three of them, spaced in such a way that the two parts of the table can come back together. So it's a way of a, a building without any nail screw or even glue is not necessary. And that's my dog Rosie coming in. And, uh, and then to support it and connect it with the base, there will be through tenons that come from the legs up through in four places. And the sliding dovetail will be my way of supporting drawers. And there will be two shallow drawers, one on either side, so that will become a place to put uh, serving tools.